Hey guys, so we have our boxy charm for November, I think we're in, to unbox. Yeah, I, yeah it's November. <laughs> I just got home from work. I'm very tired. I removed a gigantic bush from our yard, so I'm also exhausted. You trimmed hedges, I trimmed heads. I'm I a hairdresser, no, that sounds gross. I didn't trim I didn't trim hedges. I ripped a bush out of the ground and cut it with a, with a chainsaw. What is that? This is the Lower East Side Beauty Cream Bronzer. A lightweight creamy bronzer with a natural velvet finish that melts into skin for an effortless sun-kissed glow. Is That's there a it. trick to this? Oh, I got it. Yeah, you have to do a sun-kissed glow. That looks a little dark for you. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Yeah. We'll see. I have a... We'll see. I think you're going to have to, uh, you know, probably... Uh, Maybe I'll uh, re-gift uh, that. Hell is this? this is the Amina Macaroon Lip Scrub. Looking to have juicy and smooth lips? This lip scrub is just for you. Made with organic and all-natural lip-safe ingredients, this scrub smells like a freshly baked macaroon delight. And guess what? You can lick it off because it's made of real sugar. So you're going to just lick off the sugar in your dead mm. skin? Delicious dead skin. Ugh. Yeah, it smells like macaroon. It smells nice. I'm not going to use it right now, but it smells great. I'm going to use it tonight while you're asleep. <laughs> I'm going to come in the bathroom and you're just going to be like rubbing it all over your face. I'm going to rub it all, all over my body. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is the lip slick this is the uh sophia and mabel lip slick fruit lip oil so you think you're slick this lip oil hello, hello? this lip <laughs> oil gives you soft glossy lips with no tackiness it's lightly colored and applies to the lips like a like a slick transparent oil with a fruity twist use it for a nourished look or in place of lipstick on days that call for a chill look this feels kind of sticky It smells nice. It doesn't feel sticky once it's on. It smells well. It does smell nice, actually. So far, 10 out of 10 for fragrances. Oh. Yeah, well, 10 out of 10 for allergies yeah. from today. Oh, that was the worst thing. I still had, like, trees, like, parts of the bush in my hair. Why did you make packaging so complicated? All right, that's heavy. Oh, that feels expensive. It uh, probably is. <laughs> Everything is usually expensive. All right, so uh, no, uh, so this is the Saturday Skin Pretty Pop Probiotic Power Whipped Cream. What? It says you put it on your skin. Is it like a moisturizer? I don't know. Is this really a moisturizer that helps you poop? What? What? Isn't that what probiotic is? I mean, if you ingest it. A soft it. and luxurious whipped cream with encapsulated probiotics activated by prebiotics for healthy and radiant looking skin. I'm assuming it's like a moisturizer. Directions. Place moisturizer into palm of your hand using all, f all four fingers apply in an outward circular motion, tapping the moisturizer into the skin. Here. That's so specific. You are going to poop now. I can't wait. <laughs> TMI. That moisturizer is going to take you downtown. It to feels Brown expensive, Town. though. How much was it? $57. It's the most expensive item. Now, Jeez. here's the palette. I've actually heard of this. This is the Item Beauty by Addison Ray. Oh, why do I feel like you were talking about this? You were like, who's Addison Ray?" <laughs> and then I found out who Addison Ray is. Shout out to you, MMG, for being obsessed with her. Um, MMG's a guy I, who's a Madden YouTuber that I, uh, that, I, uh, that I know. And he, like, talks about her all the time. I mean, it's literally eh. every shade yep. I already own in how many different palettes. Don't every, look at my nails. It's every, Don't look at them. It's every basic 
shade. Uh, have them seen stars with this blendable, buildable 10 shade shadow palette, a cosmetic collection or a cosmic collection of warm shadows, cool neutrals, and star dusted shimmers for a look that's out of this world. Yeah, it's out of this world and into every other palette that you have. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Meh, meh. I thought it was her. She apparently has one that's like super, like, like full of color and full of like. I think it's a really good, like, palette. I thought that's what it is. Shout out to James Jones, as soon as I know that. I mean, I would have been happier with the one with a lot of color, but I will still try this. Yeah. Um, all right. So, you're going to do makeup. I'll hopefully be a lot more alert and um, spunky when I come back after sleeping. Well, it's sa it's Saturday afternoon. Yeah. Sunday morning, you're going to do the stuff for Rooney. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to edit everything together, which means you won't see me anymore. I'll be sleeping. So, bye. bye. Hey, guys. I'm back, and I lied. I'm not feeling fresh and revitalized and energetic. Um, I believe that this comes from hitting burnout um, about two years ago and then just, like, pushing through it and adding more things, which isn't healthy. And I'm probably going to take... a. Uh, a break in the very very near future just to like de-stress and try to fix the damage I've done to myself for just overexerting my uh, my body and my mind and my emotions but not to bring you down I'm going to start out with this cream I did use this last night and there's like these little balls or something in it that I noticed when I put it on my face. It did dissipate, but it was just surprising because I was like, what is that? <laughs> so a little bit there. I'm going to rub it on the four fingers like they said. I'm going to press it in first. I did just wash my face. I put some serum on. I'm going to put some of this on my neck as well. It has a scent to it, but it's not like a bad scent. It's very pleasant. I don't mind it. I think I used too much last night and I had a white cast going on for a little bit, which whatever. I was going to bed. I like to use a thicker moisturizer at night because I do use a retinoid and that just up you know, sucks the life out of your skin and makes you dry. I am not a dry skin kind of person. I'm a very oily person. So that's uh, a whole new thing for me. But yeah, it goes on nicely. I could see using this during the day. I don't know how it's going to do with my sunscreen over it, which just seems to um, pill no matter what. And I think that there's dimethicone in it. The more... I've done some research trying to find sunscreens that don't pill and then I stumbled upon a video that was like, hey, is this happening? Because like, you know, algorithms can read your mind. And they said, look at your ingredient list. If dimethicone is one of the first listed ingredients, uh, that's why. I used the scrub last night on my lips and it was fine. It wasn't anything outstanding. It did smell so, so good. It didn't taste bad when it got in my mouth. I did not do the thing where you lick it off your lips because that's disgusting. Like, sure, it tastes sweet, but it's full of your dead skin cells. So, like, I don't know. I'm going to go in with that lip oil because my lips are dying and need a little something. I don't really like this applicator, but the formula feels really nice. It's just like a stick with a little fuzz on the end. It's not like a doe foot or anything like that. It's just a straight up a stick, which is fine. I'm interested to see how this will wear throughout the day. I'm not going to do a lipstick just because I really want to get a good feel for this. It might seem like I'm putting a lot on, but I just feel as though this applicator doesn't really get a whole lot of products on it. So there's that. No color to it. It looks like it's a color in the in the bottle. Maybe it's just my lip color, my natural color, that it's just like, no, we're, 
we're not going to show up, but that feels nice. Everything feels nice. It feels like this is absorbing somewhat into my skin. It's a little tacky yet, but I really don't mind that. Um, I'm going to do some, well, I guess I should prime my eyes and then I'll do the eyeshadow. I'll come back in. Like, honestly, this palette doesn't look like anything that we haven't had 900 times. So I'm just going to do a quick little look with it. I'll come back in, say what I used, and I'll see you in just one second. All right. So I did my eyes for the most part. I'm still probably going to do the lower lash and everything, but I used this shimmer here and then I used these two colors. I think I used this one on my, maybe it was that one, that one on my lid, but then I did put the shimmer over it and then I just darkened up my, I can't see shit. I darkened up my crease with uh, the two darker colors. Come on now, over here. These two darker colors there. The shimmer was not the texture I expected it to be. I thought I was going to feel like chunks of glitter and that was not the case, so that's great. I liked that. I did my base with my Bare Minerals and I did some concealer with, I think this is Tarte. It's Tarte. It's something. I got this in one of my boxes a while ago. I don't even know if it's still good, but I used it. And that brush that I was talking so much shit about in my last video, this foundation brush is um, amazing. It's actually amazing. I love it. I'm so glad I have it. So someone's alarm is going off in the background. I'm going to use that cream. Is it a cream bronzer? I think it's a cream bronzer because I don't know that they make contour shades this warm, but this is, this is going to be something. I'm just going to flip my mirror around a little bit here. Oh boy. So maybe I'll flip it to the bigger side. I'm just going to put it where I would normally, this is thick. <laughs> I'm going to see how this goes. Maybe I'll just do dots. This is, um, this is very dark. This is very dark. We'll see. Oh boy. I don't want to like use too much of it if it's actually like going to be decent for me. But I think it's going <laughs> to, this is going to be too dark. Oh no. You guys, this is going to be too dark. All right. I didn't grab like a good blender here. I don't want to use the one I use on like the daily. One moment. Okay. I grabbed like a smaller one. Maybe if I use a smaller brush, it'll be a little bit more controlled. This is too dark. This is really, really dark. I don't look bronzed. I look like I picked out the wrong color. Oh, maybe it's not bad. No, it's bad. I don't know. Someone's alarm is still going off. It is time to get up, sir. Face the day. Come check out your partner with the too dark bronzer. Maybe that's not bad. Maybe I'll like it more when I like powder it. Sometimes I feel like the powder mutes it down a little bit. Okay, that's not terrible. That's, I've had worse. I've had worse? Or no, it's, I've had better? Um, is it gonna take a while? I, th I think it's okay. I think if it was a uh, powder, it would be really, really pigmented and hard to work with, but this isn't that bad. It's just like I'm used to really ashy cream bronzers because that's what I know will work for me. I'm not like, I have cool toned skin, so like, uh, I look like I have a five o'clock shadow. Which isn't what I'm going for. 
I think it'll be okay, though. And also, as is the trend with all of my videos, like, I'm not going anywhere. So, if it doesn't look great, I'm not going to be self-conscious about it because I don't care. I'm not going anywhere. And the cats would never hurt my feelings and tell me that it doesn't look good. The dog might. He's a shady bitch. But... It's not terrible. It's fine. I'm going to finish everything up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished everything up. I feel like that bronzer is a lot more tolerable now. It's just scary to use because it's just so freaking warm. But um, yeah, there's my final look there. I did set it with that terrifying setting spray from our last box that comes out like a shotgun. This one right here. Don't look at my nails. I'm getting them done on Saturday next week. Um, yep, so I'm going to go about my day. I'll check in, let you know how everything wore. I'll see you in a second. Oh, hey there. So I think I finished up around probably like 12, 1230. It's like quarter to eight. I wanted to do a little check-in before I went and took a shower. So, um, I think the cream bronzer held up pretty nicely. The lip stuff, I really, really like the lip stuff. I just wish the applicator was a little bit bigger and maybe there was more product. Like, it's pretty small for reference. I feel like a lot of the other ones, like, let's use this one, for example, a Jeffree Star component in comparison there. Like, it's, it's a little guy. I don't know how many fluid ounces are in either, but just looking at it, I'm kind of like, hmm, I wish there was more. So I did use the eye primer. I think it was from the last box with the eyeshadow. And I feel like the eyeshadow really has faded a lot. Uh, the shimmer is still nice and shimmery, but it has not really fared too well on my oily ass eyelids, which kind of expected that to happen, unfortunately. Um, do I think I'm going to be grabbing for that palette a whole lot? Probably not. Like I said, it's a lot of colors and uh, even the shimmers I feel like I have. Like I have that big, um, I can't remember the name of the brand right now. Let me just grab it. Hold one moment. I have this guy that I got from my aunt last year that has like can we just take a moment to appreciate how pretty this is? It has all, all the glitters and some matte shades and it's gorgeous. But what I like about this one in specific is the top row of just beautiful greens and blues. And there's a black, there's purples on the bottom. There's like actual reds. Like this is fucking gorgeous and I really really need to use this more often I think I will make a point to use it more often it's just so freaking pretty and uh, I have every intention on Saturday mornings when I have to go to work at the salon to do like a really pretty eye look and then I remember I have clients starting at 8 o'clock and I'm, I'm a tired tired lady so it just doesn't happen but I would 100% reach for that more so than the palette that I used today, unfortunately. Um, again, I'm still on the hunt for a really good eye primer. Please let me know any suggestions at all. I would love them. Um, this one is just not ooh, avalanche. This one is just not cutting it, I don't think. And I did try the Urban Decay one. I've used that one before and it's just not it's also not cutting it for me, but, uh, yeah. Um, I really, really like this cream. It is a nice texture. I like, I'm oily to begin with, but I still look nice and glowy and fresh when I put it on a little dab will do ya. I think we determined that this was the most expensive thing in the entire box. And it would be if I like it, you know how that goes, but yeah. 
I mean, I'm, I'm satisfied with uh, how everything turned out. I suppose I just wish the eyeshadows would last a little bit longer. And the lip scrub was just, it's a lip scrub. I don't really use lip scrubs probably as often as I should. I really like liquid lipsticks, so those dry the shit out of your lips. And then the thought of rubbing something on after that is just uh, too painful for words. But yeah. What did you guys get in your boxes? Have you used any of these products before? Please let me know. Leave me a comment down below. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe. I'd love to have you. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at, I think, wait, did I flip flop that around? No, at Reanimator. It's, it's, it's been a, a long day guys, but yeah, leave a like if you did like the video, uh, leave a comment, anything about makeup. I'd love to hear what are your plans for the rest of November? Let me know. And uh, I hope everyone is having a great night and I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Hi! My blooper snooty! I need a blooper snooty! Come here! Hello, honey! Oh! Oh! Say hello! Or struggle! As the cat kicks everything off the table. <laughs>